Okay, so I'm over in London, Ontario. I'm at uh, Fisher Flying uh, Products and I'm talking to uh, Dave Hurtner. Dave, what is it that have behind you there? This is our R80 Tiger Moth. It's an 80% Tiger Moth replica. Now, is this something that's available in kit form or do you build it from plans? How does this airplane come to you? Um, all of the above, actually. Um, you can purchase the plans from us to build this kit. Uh, you can uh, purchase a full kit, a quick build kit, uh, sub kits, we, we have something for everyone. Now what type of scale is this built on then from the original Tiger Moth? Um, this is uh, basically scaled at 80% of the, of the full size Tiger Moth, um, but because of that scaling they had to make uh, some interior changes that, that, that uh, fixed the weight and balance issues. Now looking at this airplane I see metal, but this is not a metal airplane. No, no, it's predominantly made out of wood. Um, basically, uh, metal is used to support the upper, the upper wing, and we've got metal struts that go between the wings. Um, we've got a bit of metal on the firewall and whatnot for safety, uh, but other than that, the aircraft is predominantly made for metal in the landing gear too. Now, this airplane is in your factory. Is there a reason that it's here? Um, this, uh, this aircraft was, um, was uh, contracted for us to build completely uh, for a customer in Taiwan and so we've been you know working on that to, and uh, we uh, he, he specified that he wanted the olive and, and green colors to uh, match a, a Taiwanese uh, historical aircraft. So you don't just ship to Canada the United States and you're shipping worldwide? No oh yes uh, we've, we've shipped for, for, you know from uh, from New Zealand to New Caledonia to Argentina to Colombia, you know, uh, Finland, Italy, uh, we're, we're a worldwide com company. Now getting back to the Tiger Moth, how long would it actually take an individual to build this airplane from what you supply? Um, from a professional standpoint, we built this aircraft up to this point here uh, within, you know, six months, five to six months here in the shop. Um, a typical builder would would be working on it, you know, for a, a year, maybe 750 hours. And is there any special tooling or uh, jigs or anything that that person would have to um, have in order to finish this airplane off? Well, we supply full size plans, and so you build right on top of the plans. And so um, when you you basically turn the plan into a jig uh, for 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 the purpose of building on a flat table. So. Uh, plans down, plastic on top, and then build your build your parts on top of that. Um, aside from that, tooling wise, you just need a good chop saw, um, a, a compound miter saw is, is handy, and a uh, um, a decent uh, uh, a belt sander. A uh, small bandsaw works really well as well. Okay. Now, when I'm building this, do I need to have built something like this before, or is this something that it's just sort of a, a start at point A and finish at point Z. Well, basically because you're building on plans and all of the information on how to build the airplane is written on the plans, you know, it's not, uh, it's not that difficult to, to work through. Um, most of our kits come with construction booklets that guide you through the process of what to build first or what to build second, but uh, they're quite intuitive. Is there any video or anything that's available? We have a, a three video cons uh, construction video set that's available on our web store um, for and basically you pay for it and download it. Um, it's uh, it was developed way back in the day um, by you know right in Portsmouth, Ohio by by Mike Fisher and his the people who worked for him. Um, it's been you know handed down uh, through the companies as different owners have owned it and we haven't you know had the heart to update it because it just provides the right information even though it's in a little bit of a dated format. Now, when I finish this airplane off, what type of power can I put on it to, to fly it? The Tiger Moth can handle um, engines up to about 110 horsepower, um, but more or less it's a, it's a nose weight restriction. Uh, you shouldn't put anything more than 200 pounds on the nose here, and it really flies best with something you know, in the order of 180 pounds installed. Now, I flew an original Tiger Moth, and I'm telling you, that mother was something to fly. I mean, you, you were working on everything to do it. How is this airplane compared to that? I mean, I only had a tail skid at that time. 
It's very benign, actually. Um, I, from the anecdotes that I've gotten from various different builders who've built the airplane, um, it, it's, it's a very docile airplane to fly. Um, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's light or heavy, it's about in the middle. And um, uh, it's, a, it's got a nice fly track, so it's, it's not really super ground loopy when you go to land. And um, uh, we've had really good, good luck with it. It's, uh, it sits a little bit lower, so it's not that difficult to see over the, uh, over the, the cowl when you're taxiing as well. And control system-wise on it, you're using standard stick and rudder type of control on it? Yes. Uh, we've got a push-pull for the elevator. Um, the, uh, uh, I believe this is push-pull for the, for the uh, ailerons as well, and then a, a standard cable, uh, cable uh, rudder. Now, is it dual control uh, on it? Yes, yes, full dual controls. Now, aileron-wise, is it a single aileron or dual? Um, the, the base is, is a single lower aileron, but you have the option of adding the upper ailerons as well. Okay. And the fuel system, uh, where is the fuel uh, located in the airplane? Well, there's a main header tank uh, right, right in, the, in the fuselage, and then uh, there's an optional uh, uh, tank that's available for the uh, center section of the wing. And say we were to take a Rotax 912, what type of duration would I have uh, with this airplane? Oh. Uh, I would say that you, you know you're a four-hour airplane in this uh, in this airplane. Uh, okay. Now, suspension uh, system on this airplane. What are you using? Well, um, it's a standard bungee cord setup, but uh, this aircraft also uh, has the option of our um, uh, our spring. Uh, it's a die spring style um, ki uh, replacement kit for the bungees. So how do I go about then buying one of your kits? Well, um, from a monetary standpoint, we take a 50% deposit on with the order and then we work on how to build a kit and, uh, and uh, when it's ready to go out the door, it's 50% plus the shipping costs. Um, we have um, the full capability of getting the kits across the border seamlessly. Uh, we have a brokerage that takes care of all of the paperwork and um, when it's we and we deliver the, the kits over to our broker's warehouse where you have the option of uh, picking the kit up or having it uh, transported to your uh, to your location uh, via LTL uh, uh, trucking. Uh, right now, if you were to order this kit, um, it would take about three months from the date of order um, for us to build the kit. And uh, depending on our order board, um, that may be out a little bit further out. Just depends on how busy we are. So if somebody wanted to get more information, um, how did they do that? Well, uh, we have our, uh, our website, uh, www.fisherflying.com. Uh, you can contact me directly, dave at fisherflying.com. Uh, you can call us, 519-933-2055. And if you want more information, um, you know, and, and you want to be a part of sort of the community that uh, is Fisher, uh, you can come uh, join the Nest and uh, see us on our YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube, just uh, just search Fisher Flying Channel.